Welcome back to my channel Mathematics and really interesting challenge today 5 divided by 5 times 5 divided by 5 Maybe the easiest challenge I've ever seen Every student can solve this easily We have division, multiplication So it looks like everyone learned this stuff in the third grade So that's fantastic But what is the correct answer? Because a lot of students make this common mistake So right now I suggest you to pause the video We have 3 options A, B and C So choose one option What do you think is the correct answer to this challenge? And write your option down into the comment section We will check our answers here in just one minute So it will be really interesting so first of all, I want to start with this first interpretation. So I want to rewrite our challenge. So we have 5 divided by 5 times 5 divided by 5. Okay, here's our challenge. And one part of students solve this question like that. We have uh, the simple expression on the left-hand side, so the same expression right here, and the same expression right here. So we can easily divide right here. We have 1, and we have this, the same division on the, on the right-hand side, which gives us right here 1, right here 1. If this multiplication in the middle gives us gives us one yeah so uh, right here we have option we have this option c so one part of students solve this question like that and i want to say this is not a good solution because we solve this question absolutely randomly we solve this question whatever we want we jump from left to right and this is not a good thing in terms of math because we should know what is the correct what is the correct order to do this problem so in this uh, sir in this second interpretation let's use this order of operation in this case let's use pimdmc which is the most popular order of operation in the world all the internet libraries scientific graphing calculator works according to this PMDMC and of course let's let's use this order of operation in this case so the second interpretation we have 5 divided by 5 times 5 divided by 5 okay so right here we have a lot of steps so this PMDMC works from the top to the bottom so on the top the highest priority on the bottom the lowest priority so in a strict order from the top from the top to the bottom so right now let's scan what elements do we have in our challenge we have division multiplication and once more division so let's uh, let's write this where do we have this element so right here we have we have division and right here we have we have multiplication and right here we have division and uh, that's all yeah we don't have any any other operations so we don't have addition we don't have subtraction we don't have exponent we don't have parentheses so we have only division and multiplication and here's maybe the main thing what is the correct order to do this problem division then multiplication then division or maybe multiplication in the middle then right here we have division this is very interesting moment because according to Pim Lim Sim if we have this multiplication division group, we should know that we we should uh, go in a strict order from left to right. In other words, we should scan what is the first sign from left to right. We have three signs. So right now, let's scan what, what sign is the first in our case. It's this division. So we should start with this division, which gives us which gives us 1. Okay, 5 divided by 5 gives us 1. And then we have this expression. So we have 1 times 5 and divided by divided by 5. Okay, once more, now, as you can see right here, we have completely the same step as before, but right now we scan what is the first sign from left to right, and this is completely different second step. Because we should multiply it first, we have 1 times 5 gives us 5, okay? And with this division by 5, we have completely the same solution. 5 divided by 5 gives us gives us 1, so equal to 1, this is option option c and really important moment because right here we have completely the same answers one right here one right here and complete a bad completely different solutions this is completely different solution with this one and uh, if you write in your exam or you have a math test of course you should choose what you what order you pre what uh, solution you prefer okay and here's my answer okay we should look at this order of operation and in the, according to this solution because this is a correct solution according to order of operation but if you look closer to this solution it looks like okay solution Solution, but we can't jump right here from left to right we should put brackets here yeah? if you put parentheses then this is a great solution we should we should divide at first we should divide right here we can easily jump because parentheses has the highest priority so it doesn't matter how many parentheses do you have or what expression do we have inside parentheses all the time you should start from this parentheses and in this case option c is a correct answer but according to a solution you should put parentheses okay but uh, let's look at this uh, second interpretation. This is a correct solution and a correct order of operation, okay? So I hope you understand my thoughts about it. This is a great solution with parentheses. Option C is a correct, but this is a great solution without parentheses. Also, option C is a correct answer to this, to this challenge. Okay, I hope you understand my explanation. I hope you learned something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. So with that being said, see you in the next videos and have a great day.